Pirate Nodes has a different taxation than the most of the node projects. If you take your rewards early, you will pay more for the taxes. If you take it later, you will pay less for the taxes. Let's compare two strategies. By taking the rewards right away and investing them to the new nodes, new ships, or if we would wait until we get the lowest reward taxation for the reward possible and then take the reward. Let's compare these two strategies and let's see which one is better. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and I hope you remember about the Pirate Nodes project. I was talking about it before like a couple of months ago when it was an opportunity to get the nodes for free. You just needed to buy an NFT and get the node. So I did that at that time and now a couple months has passed, the project is still healthy, it's still growing, it just released the game, which is also very interesting, but that's the topic for another day. If you're interested about that, please leave your comments in the comment section below and I can make a video about that. So anyways, in this video we are going to talk about the nodes, about the taxation of the nodes and the strategies that you could use for your nodes. So we have a documentation about the taxation and as we can see, rewards claim. So if you claim your rewards from 0 to 10 days, the tax will be 30%. 30% is quite a lot, I would say. You take 100 bucks and you pay 30 bucks, for example, for the taxes. That's a lot. But if you wait a little bit longer, like 11 to 20 days, you will pay only 20% of tax. 21 to 59 days, 10%. And if you wait more than 60 days, you will pay only 2.5% of the taxes. 2.5 is not that much. Imagine those $100 and 2.5% would be just $2.5 from, from that $100. Less than $30, right? Right. But if you plan to invest and buy new nodes every time we get the rewards, how much we would earn if we would buy the nodes immediately without looking at that taxation or if we would wait for the lowest taxation and then buy the node? Let's compare these two strategies and let's see how it goes. For the simplicity, I'll take the example of like having one galleon that's the most expensive node, the most expensive ship already bought and re start receiving the rewards from this node. So just to remind you, there are four nodes or four ships in this project, Robot, Sloop, Brigantine and Galleon, Galleon, not sure how to pronounce it actually, and the Galleon is the most expensive, it costs 40 dub coins, this is a native coin for this project and the daily return is 1.6% a day. So I'm gonna take this node as the example as if we would have this one node, we have just bought it let's say and let's see what is the main difference between the strategies with this node while buying just this node because in this project you can buy the cheaper ones and then just merge them and then get a better one but that's a topic for another day if you're interested in that please leave your comments in the comment section below actually i'm, I'm already working on that video on that on those calculations so i'm gonna make it anyway but if you're interested please let me know maybe i can make that video faster so oh and by the way if you like this video or the content, please hit that like button, I would really appreciate that. So as usual, I try to make the calculation as easy as possible and more like visually appealing than just the numbers and the digits so that you could easily or more easily understand what's going on. So for example, we are starting, we just got one node, one galleon ship and day one rewards are 60, 0.64 coins a day, the percentage of the taxes is 30%, so total accumulated, well that's for like second days would be 1.28 and if claimed with these taxes it's this amount. So one day it's not 0 0.64, it's 0 0.448 coins if you would claim your rewards right away. We can see it's 30% for the first 10 days and then it's 20% and as you can see 
the difference, well, there is a difference. On the 10th day, you would get 4.48 coins, and on the 11th day, you would get 5.6 coins. Fast forward 20%, one day 10 coins, another day 12 coins. As you can see, it's almost two coins difference in one day with these tags. Let's go to the 60 days and we can see that, yep, 59 days passed, we would get 34 coins. That's the amount accumulated. And 60 days has passed, it would be not 34, it would be 37. And that would be four coins difference in those 60 days. That sounds and looks quite a lot, especially if you have more than one node. So I hope this part is quite clear, how the taxation works and how the taxes are being calculated or taken on from the ships you have. As we can see, for the first node, there is not much we can do, we just need to wait until we get those 40 coins that we could buy another node. So 65 days has passed as we rewards, as we can see 41 in total, but if we take the taxes it would be 40 coins and we get a new node. So everything is the same for the second node, everything starts more or less the same, but for our first strategy we will not buy the node once the needed amount is accumulated. We will buy only when we get the lowest tax. So for for example, in this case we have 37 and 37, so it's around 70 coins and only when we would buy a node, as we can see this is the lowest tag. We buy the third node and we already have 35.4 coins in our wallet. So as we can see we could have bought it much much earlier in this case, but we are buying it only when we have the lowest tax, so right in here. A couple of days will pass and we can buy another node once we can take the money only from these two nodes in this case, because this node generates 30% and well, this one starts to generate 30% of the taxes as well. So I hope it's clear for the strategy number one, which is we are buying the node only when the node, the taxes for the rewards, for claiming rewards will be 2.5%. So that means waiting for 60 days, keeping the node, not taking the rewards of that node for 60 days, and only when taking the rewards from this and from the other nodes that, that were created older before, only when the tax is just 2.5%. The other strategy is much more simple. We buy the node when we have enough coins and it doesn't matter what kind of taxes we have to pay for that. I guess much more simple. And it's really hard to tell which strategy is better. But let's take a look at the overall calculations and let's see which one is better. These are the two scenarios. Scenario number one, like I mentioned before, claiming the rewards only with 2.5% of taxes. Scenario number two, taking claiming rewards right away when we can buy a new node. So first 100 days would be very, very similar. Two nodes, unclaimed reward 42.56 nodes, and daily income 1.28 coins per day. Scenario number two, it's a little bit better because it's already three nodes, unclaimed reward is 3.5, so that's, that's not much and daily income, well, it's bigger. Overall, everything is very, very similar because in here we have like the required amount for the node. So that means that we could buy actually this node, but we are still waiting to get the best taxes and only when we will buy the node. But as you can see, it might look very, very similar, but there are slightly different. I have marked 100 days in here. And as you can see, yep, 2.5 taxes, in here we have like 10% taxes and this is accumulated 21, 20. So we could easily buy a new node, but we are still waiting because in here there are, the taxes are still 10%. That's why we are not claiming these rewards and not buying the new node. Now for the second strategy, as you can see, the node was bought just one day ago. Yeah, the right amount was accumulated, like 20 in here, 19 in here, so it's more than 40. And we just bought the new node, everything is resetted here. In the wallet, well, we have not a huge amount, just 1.16 coins. And three nodes, of course, has a bigger rewards, daily rewards. But in here we can see that we have paid 10% of the tax, not 
2.5 as we are waiting on the first strategy. Fast forward one and a half months and that would be 150 days. On the scenario number one we would have four nodes, unclaimed rewards 26.6 coins and daily income of 2.56 coins. Scenario number two. Well, it's a little bit better, but also very, very similar. 5 nodes, 35 coins in our wallet, and daily income on 3.2 coins. As you can see, this strategy is working slightly better up until now. 20 bucks or 2.5 bucks. That might be, that might sound like a huge difference. But if you invest those rewards right away, and you get more rewards out of this, Looks like this is better, but let's keep looking. Let's take a look how everything would look like after 200 days. It's around 7 months. So after 200 days the difference would be much, much bigger. As you can see there would be just 8 nodes for the scenario number 1, 60 coins as unclaimed rewards and daily income would be 5.12 coins. Scenario number 2. That would be 11 nodes and that means 3 free nodes more. As you remember this is the most expensive node, the most expensive ship and it cost 40 dub coins. So the dub price is not that high actually now, it's around 3, 4 or something like that bucks. So that would cost you around 100 or something, a little bit more than 100 dollars. 3 nodes, that means 300, I guess around 400 dollars. And that's not that small amount at all, on the same period of time. As the rewards we would get not 5 but 7 dub coins a day. That's 2 coins different. Unclaimed reward, well it's smaller but it doesn't really matter at this moment. 200 days has passed, we have 8 nodes. We could buy the one right away, but taxes for this node would be 30%, for this one 20, for this one 20 as well for this one 10 and only 4 nodes we would claim the rewards with the lowest tax, 2.5%. In here it doesn't really matter, we have like 11 nodes and we buy a new node as soon as possible and that's actually like 200 days, 204 days we would get a new node and that would be 12th node. So as we can see it's much much better to buy the node right away without counting those taxes. Of course, if you are planning to take rewards and not buy the nodes, not do the compounding, then I would say it's better to wait until you get the lower taxes. But in this case, if you are compounding and getting bigger rewards every day because of that, it's better to do that without waiting, without looking at the taxes and just buy the node when, when you can. Because as you can see, the difference is quite big. Three nodes on the same period of time is really, really nice. So I'm really interested what strategy are you taking and doing with your pirate nodes project or nodes in overall. Are you waiting for the lowest tax, like on the strategy number one in this video, or you're buying the nodes right away? I'm really interested about that and why you are doing this. Maybe this will help you to decide otherwise and do some different strategy, because for me this is quite obvious. You just pay the bigger taxes and take the rewards right away, compound and it will be better. As we can see it will be much much better, especially if we would look for another like 50 or 100 days. I think the results would be much much, the gap would be much much different in these results. Of course, in this project there is another thing that you can buy the cheaper nodes, ships and then compound them and buy the more expensive after that. So I'm gonna make a video about that as well. It's coming, it's, I'm preparing for this because there are a little bit of calculations to, to make, to, to look everything visually appealing like in this one, otherwise you know just a formula, digits and so on, so many people does not work very well with the digits and you see the digits, the table with many digits and blah, 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 nothing interesting, the brain just keeps that information and don't accumulate it. The way I'm doing, I'm doing that the user or anybody else that's watching the video would understand everything, the calculations and so on 
as easy as possible. I hope I achieved this goal and you were able to understand the calculations, the strategies and so on. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer those questions, especially if you have anything with the strategy. If you want that I would make some different strategies, like I mentioned before, I will make one soon with the buying the cheapest one, then merging them and then buying the more expensive ones, so that we could see what are the results. I will make that video soon, but if you have some other suggestions, please leave your comments in the section below and please let me know what you think about this project overall. Also, the game was released not so long ago, there are some more NFTs like pirate NFTs and so on, so there are many many things about this project. If you are interested about it, about this project and so on, please leave your comments in the section below and I can create more videos about this project as well. So I hope this was useful, please hit that like button if you like this video and see you in the next video. Cheers!